On a scale of one to science, this next segment is on there, but in a good way. That rating system is still in development and we're trying to fix it. <laughs> Spinach in your teeth on a date. Waving at someone you think is your friend, and then it's not your friend. Sending a text about someone to the person that you're talking about. When we get into these situations, we feel embarrassment. And we can blame that feeling on our brain. Hello, I'm Dr. Brain. Okay, my real name is Crystal Dilworth, but I have a PhD in neuroscience, so it's just easier to call me Dr. Brain. So, I'm Dr. Brain. True embarrassment has two parts. The first part is the catalyzing event. This could be a physical mistake, like playing sports and dropping an easy catch. Or it could be a cognitive shortcoming, like answering a question incorrectly, or not being in the know about a piece of information or gossip. The second part of embarrassment is the public nature of the catalyzing event. To be embarrassed, you need an audience. After all, it's not embarrassing if no one else knows. Embarrassment is a full body and brain experience. Both excrete the stress hormone adrenaline, triggering the body's stress response. Yeah, the same adrenaline that your body makes when it's in actual danger, like if you're confronted by a bear. Ugh. Terrifying. As a result, we experience accelerated breathing and an increased heart rate that causes blood to rush through our body, getting us ready to fight, freeze, or flee. You know that expression of embarrassment, that classic blush cheeks? That's because of that blood rush. Sweating is also a behavioral symptom of the body's stress response. One of the interesting things about embarrassment is that the audience doesn't always have to agree that what happened is embarrassing. Sometimes it's not the actual opinion of others that causes embarrassment, but it's our own idea about what is acceptable and what others might think. Which is great, because it gives us power over our own embarrassment. We are human. And humans make mistakes and do foolish things in front of other people. But there are ways to combat the bad feelings that result after an embarrassing event. Take a deep breath, try to calm your heart rate, and ask yourself, hey, self, do you believe that what we did is as bad as others think? No, and actually, maybe they're not judging us at all. Also, if you see someone doing something embarrassing, help them. Try to deploy empathy with their situation. You can help take away that awful feeling of fear and embarrassment by reminding them that their mistake or failure doesn't change their value as a person. Let them know that they're still accepted and appreciated by you and their peers. Who knows, the next person to embarrass themselves in public might very well be you. So give yourself a break, people. Being embarrassed is part of being human. To my non-humans, however, like my pet cat, Herman, you should be embarrassed. I saw you chewing on my phone charger. It's not a snack, man. Okay, bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.